yeah. I had the exact same reaction as you did when I seen all these people in this encounter. Is this going to be a repeat of the video that I posted entitled The, the New Player Exper Experience in Vigor is Terrible? Is this going to be a repeat? Well, there are plenty of new players here. Plenty of them, and you can tell. I guess we got to wait and find out. But the lobby is not going to get boosted anymore. So that's the end of that. Welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. You know, I'm pretty sure I didn't post it at this point, but I'm really, really thinking about making a part two of uh, like the top five things I want to see in Vigor, like my wish list or whatever you want to call it. Again, I'm pretty sure I haven't made it at this point because I'm missing like two things I want to add. I'm sitting at three in the back of my head, but all I'm going to say is I was really torn when making this video, really torn because the video, this video, I mean, it kind of explains itself like the movie kind of writes itself. You can't script what you're about to see in this video. But at the same time, too, I tried to do something a bit different with my weapon choice. So I took out an AUR A1. Codename Steak Sauce. Because A1 Steak Sauce. I didn't take out a bugle. The bugle was a bit uh too easy to use. No offense to the bugle mains out there, but you know it. Uh, that three round burst is devastating. You know it. But... Even the new players can throw you off. You see where I'm searching at right now? In the nature. What? You, you I mean, look. Somebody uses the detector. And I'm nowhere near it. But you know what I hear, though? Everybody in this game, besides myself, is a new player. Everybody. So, don't expect for there to be the the most wisest of choices in this game. In other words, lower your expectations, if you don't mind. Because what you're seeing right now is people who downloaded the game, and they had it on their console for about... Three days, maybe. Two days, maybe. Hell, they could have just installed it. They could have. They don't know what the hell going on. 
but I'm here. And I believe I'm here to show them that, you know, there are ways that somebody can come and kill you, even though you're all the way across the map. You just gotta reveal yourself. Alright, so boom. This guy had an SG-1 on him. Look. Wait a minute, there you go. SG-1, 14 rounds of ammunition, nothing else. Homeboy just got the game. Just got it. The game gave him the SG-1. He didn't craft it, he didn't win it. It was already in his house when he first got the game. Shout out to VW 1985 for telling me that the game gives you one of every good weapon when you first make an account on the game. Nowadays, it wasn't like that when I first started. But anyways, I believe I spotted somebody, or at least caught some motion, up here near this tool shed. But you see, I'm looking at that container and it's like, it's still closed. Okay. I'm going to keep that information in the back of my head. But maybe the guy who was running that I seen up here was coming from the container. Maybe that's the case. Wait a minute, another phone. I believe I spoke on this in a previous video, but number one, or well, this wasn't sp spoken about in a previous video, melee weapons, aka knives, are useless in encounters. Just don't don't bother taking one out. You see the guy had a puko on him. Did he swing that bitch? No, he didn't, because he didn't have a chance to. Not because of his inexperience, but because the guy who was shooting at him had a gun. Not a knife. A gun. A gunfight beats knife fight in this game. 
because the melee freaking mechanics are ass. Don't take out a knife in this game. The whole challenge of get, you know, like five or ten melee kills in an encounter, don't worry about that shit. Unless you want to try hard as hell to get a golden raincoat. In which case, you probably already have it by now. Don't, don't bring out a knife. There's no point. So, now, there are th there are two, wow, I, was, I mixed three and two, I said two. There are two things that I am kind of worried about in the case of, is there anybody here? Number one, I believe that barred house has not been opened. That's what I believe. But, I could be wrong, this is my post commentary talking here, it could have already been opened. But what I do know is not opened or tapped, rather, is the airdrop. And notice how it is extremely close to this side of the map. Now why do I say this side of the map in particular? Well, number one, there are three exits all within close proximity of each other. We got a locked one at the end of this railway. The one that's up in the hills and the third one that's down the road in this direction so if somebody were to get it they got three pot well two three if they have five or ten wire on them i believe it's ten wire again shout out to you mr king cat for telling me that they have multiple ways to escape but i'm pretty sure that nobody stealthed the airdrop I'm pretty sure. So if somebody were to come and get it, they'll be marked. And I'm already near the area. All I gotta do now is toss this radiation grenade, but I fuck it up because even though this game it has its bullshit moments, that was pretty realistic. I toss the grenade, my bad, I throw the grenade and it hits the branch of the tree that I was standing in front of and the shit bounces down and it lands nowhere near the airdrop. That sucks. Now I'm checking these trees to make sure I don't walk into any hostile trees. And it seems like nobody's here. That's what it seems like. So I'm gonna check the container because it was closed when we last saw it. And oh boy, the uh, exit bell is about to ring. The school bell. Yeah, that thing. So, with the SG-1 that I got off the first, well, the second dude, I believe. Yeah, the second dude. I'm going to scope in and look. And, sure enough, the doors are open. Somebody was there. Okay. Well, if they got the container, wouldn't they stay for the airdrop? Nope. The guy who, who got the container... He left. The smartest thing he could do. He didn't know the danger that is radiation covering that airdrop. I would have thought he would have went for it. Hell, if I was a new player, I would have went for it. But he did the right thing. I bring y'all this video for multiple reasons. And you can figure out some of them. But if there's any new player who is watching this video and says, What is this figure game about? If you download this game and you pick up the phone in an encounter, don't think you can just pick it up and then run and escape. Don't, because there are players like me who will pick up the phone and be like, oh shit, a duel, let's go. And they will hunt you down and they will try to kill you. I'm saying this because there have been multiple encounters in the previous few weeks been playing this game where people pick up the phone and then I pick it up and then they run away. Yeah, sure, XP, but don't run away from the smoke if you call it. And that's all I'm going to say. I'll be sure to catch you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.